mm-hmm. the, the framework, right. not the, the what, we, what we think of as yoga, um, is to give, you know, with no, no uh, expectations on receiving right. in return. So it's a perfect, you know, it's, it's the perfect next step for her. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of stories online from different participants. Um, and, I mean, what have you heard this year? I know as, um, as you do those different programs, anything memorable that happened that kind of stood out where you just can't get it out of your, your head, whether it's a participant or a session that happened in terms of what someone may have told you after taking a class or going through the program? Well, gosh, I hear things all the time. I mean, these women are so surprised at what kind of just peace that yoga brings them, just this sense of uh, just well-being and serenity. But when Amy recently came to our workshop, the, we have the teacher training workshops, and there's the part one and part two, and she came to the part one, she did tell her teacher afterwards, her yoga teacher, mm-hmm. um, she said, when I went in there, I felt like a total outcast mm. and like a complete loser. And when I left, I felt so amazing and so good about myself. And I felt really just like I was really special, you know. Cool. And I just, that made me really very excited for her. So that's great. Um, because those classes, again, it could be a little intimidating. Like I've, I've gone to like a few sessions of Pilates and you go in and you're like, oh, I'm going to look like a complete just fish out of water like what am I supposed to do and when you think of your body again it's like for you to do things with and it just seems so complicated like I'm not that flexible I'm not this and it's just not gonna flow yeah well that's though some of the misconceptions about yoga is that you have to be flexible and um, that's that is just such a complete misconception Mm -hmm. because really it's not about flexibility yoga it's more about just coming coming physically Mm -hmm. to to your edge of comfort just right to that edge of comfort and then and then just hanging out there and and noticing what happens Mm -hmm. and so maybe so for a lot of these women their edge is just simply lying on their back and doing nothing you know that's their edge so um, we make sure that our classes are really taking uh, all of that into consideration, and w- there's very, very few postures that these women are going to have trouble with. Okay. You know, it's, it's pretty gentle, but gentle for them. You know, somebody who has PTSD mm-hmm. or is has a tremendous amount of anxiety is going to have trouble just slowing things down. Right. And it's more about slowing things down and coming into your breath than standing on your mm-hmm. head or wrapping your... And then staying your, still when you have so much going on in your head. Or right. in your life, you know. That's incredibly just... hard. I remember I had one woman in class. Uh, she was really, she could not, she just could not stay stay still or slow herself down. And her friend, who was also in recovery, was a recovering heroin addict, but she had been in the facility for probably mm-hmm. six or seven months. She said, you know, when you get sober, everything that you do is incredibly stressful. Like even brushing your teeth when you're sober you know, when you're newly sober, yeah. after being used to doing that when you're high, is so stressful, you know. And so, of course, it's going to feel stressful just to be, mm-hmm. just to lie down there. Yeah. And we get that, you know, so we know that's challenging. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great that the teachers are aware of the women's history and knowing sort of what they could be struggling with mm-hmm. sort of during the class, that it's not right. going to be sort of go and do it and go through the... Right. The, the That's why, you know, t- to be a Yoga Hope teacher, you, we don't, even if you're a certified yoga teacher, mm-hmm. we don't just throw you in okay, there. Okay, so you go through another mm-hmm. training. There's a, there's a significant amount of time you have to put into the training. To do it. Mm-hmm. So I know coming up New Year's Eve, there's a great event that will benefit um, yeah. the organization. So talk to us a little bit about what's going to be happening. Well, um, BAP, the Baptiste Power Vinyasa Yoga Studio mm-hmm. in Cambridge is doing their annual New Year's Eve class. Um, it starts at 10 o'clock and it goes till I think five minutes before midnight. Wait, 11 <laughs> <laughs> and um, this year they're they're giving all the proceeds to Yoga Hope. Right. So um, that it actually is um, very serendipitous because it was at a Baron Baptiste teacher training that mm-hmm. I had this epiphany for Yoga Hope. So it it fits very well, and it's a super ex- it's it's really exciting for Yoga Hope because. It's a very good fit. We're the Baptist community is very involved with Yoga Hope. We have lots of supporters, oh, that's great. and um, 
you know, it's a popular, fun class, and every year. Yeah. yeah, I saw that, and I thought, what, what, what a great way to start the year in terms yeah. of doing that, and then to also, you know, support um, the organization as well. Um, before we end, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's coming up for 2010. I mean, I know.